this is Carol from Tiny Space Hell again and um, today we're going to go through standing stretches so if you have a bit of problem getting up and down off the floor these might be good ones for you I'll give a couple of modifications for people while I'm doing it and um, just to get yourself a little bit more mobile and um, yeah chill a bit here we go so shake it out a bit to start off with if you hear anything, there's a couple of kids playing outside, which is really nice. So there's some happy sounds of some happy kids out there playing on skateboards. Roll shoulders back and down. Roll again, back and down. From the back now, bring the shoulders, bring them up and forward. do the Pilates grabbing hold of the ball so we get it just make sure that your feet shoulder width apart little slight bend in your knees a little bit of brace in your tummy nothing too serious though not this no <laughs> just a little bit of bracing in your tummy grabbing hold of a big ball here I'm imagining a big ball and you're going to get your shoulders and you're going to just pull your shoulder blades apart at the back pull your, these shoulders away from your ears and just try to open up here in your back so opening up in the back and then pulling the arms back and squeezing the shoulder blades together okay so do that one again big ball pushing forward pulling in a little bit of the tummy here so these shoulders are coming forward your head comes down a little bit and then just pulling back squeeze the shoulder blades together just really squeeze them together yeah usually you make a face like this <laughs> that's quite normal shake out the arms okay we're going to do the other one with the shoulders I like to do this one you lift up and then breathe out push them down really push your shoulders down and lift up scrunch them towards your ears you make a silly face if you like <laughs> and then push them down let's do the faster one I like the faster one lift up scrunch and then just push them down shake everything out okay we just do this one arms just one of the arms your left arm pull down so we're just stretching out the wrist a little bit be careful with this Got a sore wrist. Oh, always keep a little bend in your knees. Don't ever sort of really extend the the knees. Just be careful. Don't hyperextend anything. Just a stretch. Shake it. Other hand. Pull down. Doing a little bit of mobility as well, not just stretches. Try to, we're going to try to do most of the body in the stretches, but just a little bit of mobility as well. So shake out your legs. Just simple things we can do to keep ourselves a little bit mobile. Okay, roll the shoulders again. We're just going to do some arm scissors. So left arm comes up, reaching up, and then we're swapping hands. Arms. So the idea with this is to Get it so that this arm that's up is as far back as where your shoulder is. That's what we're aiming for. If you can't do it, it doesn't matter. Just go where you can. If you can go there, fine. Just as long as we're just getting a bit of mobility in the shoulders. Make sure you breathe. That's something. <laughs> I won't tell you when to breathe. Sometimes I might. But just breathe whenever you like. No far, hard and fast rules. That's for sure. Okay. Good. One more of those. Scissor in the arms. Okay, we're gonna do a few little yogury sort of arm movements. Feet shoulder width apart as well. Slightly bend in the knees. Get your thumbs and push them towards the wall behind you. So arms, palms are open here. And shoulders are back and down. And we're reaching up, inhaling here. I'm telling you how to breathe now. See, I said I wouldn't, but now I will. And then palms away. Breathing out. 
take a deep breath, thumbs to the back wall. Inhale and exhale. Just mobility through the shoulders, through the arms. Another one. They're having a good time outside, aren't they, those kids? Inhale and exhale. Thumbs to the front. Excellent. Roll. I like to roll the shoulders off. Okay, shake it out. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of, we're going to sort of work down the body a little bit here. Okay, so we're going to go to the to the back. We're going to stretch out the front. You can do this if you like, hands to the front, or you can cross them across. We're going to stretch out the upper back. So here, and really pushing the shoulders forward. We did this with the, we did the ball. So if I go sideways, you'll sort of see. Stretching out the upper back. I'm sucking in through the belly button there, sort of as well. A slight bend in the knees. And then relax. Okay, shake it out again. We'll just do a little bit of a stretch on the side. Nothing too hard. Hands to the hip, other arm reaches up, and we're just going to go across. Just a nice gentle one. And center. I'm going to go the other side, reaching up and over. Also, if you find that's hard, there's nothing wrong with just going this side like that. Even with a hand down if you like. Just do what's right for you. Come back up to centre. I've got, I'm going to use this as if, um, as if it's a chair to help keep your balance as well during, during this. Um, shaking. So where are we going to do this? We're going to do chest because we're going to work down the body. We've done a little bit of upper back. So chest. Uh, a couple of different ones. We're going to go hands out to the back. Get your shoulders. Push your shoulders forward. Push your shoulders back. So as you push your shoulders back, you're really opening up the chest here. Reaching back with the arms. And smile. Yay. <laughs> and if you want to, look forward. Or make it a little bit harder, you look up a little bit, but don't go too far. Up a little bit. Okay, so you can do that one again. You feel like, yeah, I like that one, I'll do that. Or the other one is grab hold of your hands behind here. Do this one in yoga. Shoulders forward, shoulders back, and then push down with those hands. So if I show you sideways, really pushing down with those hands, looking forward or looking up really opening through the chest slight bend in the knees and that's a good stretch I like that that's a good one to do after you've been on the computer um, yeah so where we're going to go from here we are going to go and work on the legs a little bit so we're going to actually work on the thigh next this is my chair so if you've got a chair you can hold onto your chair, bring one leg up, and the idea is try to keep your knees together when you do this. Um, if you can go without the holding onto something, that's good. So if I say, say I'm going to go here, right? So, oh, I'm going to go without a chair. Try to keep your knees together, and you get this hip, and you push your hip forward to try to increase the stretch. Always use a chair or something or a wall if you need to. Um, you know, be, be kind to yourself. I should be kind to myself on the other leg. So, it's going to go there and shake out that leg. We're going to go the other leg. I'm going to be kind to myself this side. You can see it from the side. Okay, so pull it up. Knees together. Chest up. Pull it in towards your butt. The foot comes in towards your butt to increase the stretch. This hip, you're going to try to push it a little bit forward. I'm looking at my peace sign. There. That's good. All right, thighs. Okay, hip stretch. Uh, we're going to do a hip stretch by... It's, doing a little lunge. So you're going to have your chair or you're going to have your piece of wall, whatever you're going to do, and you're going to step back. So feet aren't in one line like this. You're going to have the feet shoulder width apart. Try to keep the balance. So shoulder width apart, stepping back with one leg. 
okay? Weight is sort of in the middle here. You're not really pushing either one, but you're gonna sink down, sinking. And then this hip, just, I always say to think, think Elvis Presley, hey? So you go here, push that hip forward. As soon as you push that hip forward, you'll start to feel it through the front here. And use anything to keep your balance. up. I'm going to do that on the other side. So I'm going to keep hold of this. I'm going to, my other leg's going to step back and then I'm going to sink down and then this hip, I'm going to push it forward. Elvis Presley. Use those hips. And keep up, right? I think the kids have finished running around outside. And coming up. So pretty much it's the same position. We're going to stretch and we're going to, this leg's going back, but we're going to push the heel down. So you don't have to be too far, doesn't have to be back as far as the other one. Just keep the heel down, holding onto your chair and leaning forward just a little bit to just increase that stretch in the calf muscle. So we're getting through most of the body here by standing. Maybe a bit of soft music in the back. Breathe. <laughs> and then we're just going to change legs. So changing legs. Don't go far back as far as the other one. Just about there. Until you just make, can make sure that leg's down. Even if you're just here, that's fine. Because everyone's different. Okay, just make sure that heel is down the back leg. And then if you can, just a little bit of a lean forward, bending that leg at the front in order to keep the heel down, but also really just stretching out at the back of the calf muscle. I like this one. Hmm. Must admit there are some stretches I do not like. I do like this one. Okay, so we're gonna go from here and then we're going to do a hamstring stretch, standing hamstring stretch, sort of pretty much the classic one, is the toe goes up on one of the legs. Now this leg here, you've got to bend it, okay? So you bend this one and toes up on that one. Okay, we're good. Abs, nice and strong. Then you push your butt out. You've got to push the bottom away towards the wall. Then you'll start to feel that stretch in the back of your leg, this leg here. Use this to help you. And yeah, this was one I could never do when I was teaching aqua class. Didn't work. <laughs> bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> it didn't work. And to always think of a different stretch than this for hamstrings when doing aqua, yeah. Funny that. Okay, other leg. So, keeping your balance. This one, nice bend, okay? Got to think, bend that one, bend toe up on the other leg, bottom away, push it away and leaning forward, abs nice and strong, really pull that toe up to increase the stretch I want to do something with this hand okay, and coming up all right, so what we're gonna do here, I'm still gonna use my chair, my chair, and I'm just gonna go up on my toes. Oops. If anything, for balance, something to do. Work the muscles a little bit, a little bit of mobility. Roll back on your heels a little bit, and then go back on the toes. And rolling back on your heels, and up on your toes again. You can try this without holding on to anything if you want to. I'm staying here today. I like it. <laughs> and one more. Up on your toes. And back down. And then just give it a shake. Okay, I think that's pretty good. We've done most, most of the body stretches. We haven't done a glute one, but that's a little bit hard standing up. Maybe next time come we'll do the floor one and um, we'll do a glute one there. So, 
thanks for joining me and um, always give everything a good shake and give yourselves a clap and a pat on the back. Good job and um, see you next time. Thanks.